Designing a room to be completely creative in has been one of my favourite things to do, not only for YouTube, but also in a general sense. I've made it no secret that my own home office has been a complete labour of love, but I've always wanted to explore other people's creative spaces too, and I'm happy to start that today by showing off a home office space from a good friend of the channel and local freelance filmmaker, Sam Brown. And I'm also happy to tell you that this video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Oh, and YouTube loves to keep reminding me that 92% of you aren't subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the content I make, then consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot more than you think it does. Anyway, let's jump into it. Let's start with the desk itself. It's another IKEA classic based on the white Linman tabletop, which is held together with an Alex drawer on the right and a trestle on the left. There's also a center table leg to ensure it stays rigid under load. The cheaper tabletops from IKEA aren't the strongest, so this is totally worth doing if you're going to have a lot of stuff on here and plan on using a liniment or something similar. The desk covers a large area in the room and it's great for spreading out while Sam works on it. The entire desk is powered by a 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is a 2019 model with a quad core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 256 gigabyte SSD and the integrated Iris graphics. And yes, those infamous butterfly keys too. It might sound a little underpowered for filmmaking, but if you work off external SSDs and within a proxy workflow like Sam does, then you don't need to go overboard with the specs. This has been working well for all of the freelance filmmaking content that Sam's been making over the past few years. The MacBook is all connected up to a Dell UltraSharp U2720Q, which is a 27 inch 4K IPS display. It's a really wonderful companion to the MacBook Pro and it is also fully USB-C compatible. That single USB-C cable is working double duty too, providing the display signal to the monitor from the Mac while taking power back from the monitor into the Mac. So it's always charged and ready to go, which is one of the huge benefits of having a USB-C based setup. The monitor also has a USB-A and C output on the side too, which allows Sam to plug in any array of drives or dongles. As for inputs, things are nice and clean here. Sam uses an Apple Magic Trackpad 2 instead of a mouse, combined with the Magic Keyboard 2 to keep everything in theme. As someone who mainly works on a laptop, keeping a trackpad on the go for his desk setup made more sense than going for a mouse. This means all the gesture shortcuts that Sam's used to still works just like it would on the laptop. The keyboard is also pretty close to what you'd get from a MacBook 2. On the right of the monitor is Sam's recent camera upgrade, the Sony FX3. This is Sony's new camera for their cinema series and it's an absolutely wonderful piece of 4K filming technology. But rather than let me explain what he upgraded from and why, I'll pass you over to Sam. So for the past four or five years or so, I've been shooting on the Sony A6500, which has been great for the most part. I've done some music videos, um, some other sort of like corporate projects, uh, did a documentary about your lovely self, which did reasonably well. Um, but it just kind of got to the point where I felt like I was like making excuses for its like limitations to an extent. Um, and so when it came time to upgrade, I went for this guy here, which is the Sony FX3. Um, the main reason I went for this one is just because I've got like previous experience with other cinema line cameras, but because it's all in a sort of mirrorless looking body, I can still shoot how I'm used to shooting, um, but with all of the cinema line quality that you get from these kinds of cameras. But I still kept the um, A6500 because I do really like the stills that come from it. And now I'm in a position where I've got a video camera and I've got a designated camera for photos and stuff as well. As a freelance filmmaker, Sam often gets a lot of his work through his website, which brings us around to today's sponsor, Squarespace. I've actually been an active user of Squarespace for my own freelance work for around three years, so I can tell you firsthand how important it is to have your own corner of the internet to show off your absolute best work. Squarespace makes it super easy to make a professional looking website in a few clicks. All the templates are designed thoughtfully with responsiveness in mind and making your own changes to them is super simple. They even take care of optimizing it for mobile too. Instagram, Facebook and other social platforms aren't always enough to show off your work in its best light. So having a website is the perfect place to show off who you are and what you can do. As a freelance content creator myself, I've had so many jobs come off the back of people visiting my website. 
So make sure you head over to squarespace.com to try it free for 14 days. Then when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BITEREVIEW to get 10% off your first website or domain. And of course, a huge thank you goes out to the folks at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Moving to the left of the desk, there's a Rode NT-USB Mini, which is a really excellent little USB-C microphone. Sams makes use of this for recording his video game podcast, aptly titled The Waste of Time Podcast, or for smaller bits of voiceover work. There's an Anchor wireless charger for topping up his iPhone or AirPods, an Amazon Echo Dot second generation for light music listening and radio playback, and this small USB charging station, which is used whenever all the camera batteries need charging at once. Underneath the monitor is a small iPhone stand from IKEA 2. Oh, and it's all topped off with a Sonic the Hedgehog stress ball. There are no desktop speakers other than what the MacBook can push out, so Sam usually uses some Sony headphones while working on projects or listening to music. No IKEA desk setup is complete without the pegboard nowadays, so of course there's one hanging over the desk in Sam's office space. More than anything, this just serves as a place to hang art and to store useful little things like notebooks, business cards, pens and pencils and other little office toys. I really love these pegboards, they're a great addition to any office space and can be used quite simply for decoration and holding smaller things, or you can really build them out to be useful additions to your office space. Sitting behind the desk is a locker style cabinet. This is from IKEA of course as well and holds all of the rest of Sam's bigger pieces of filming equipment. Tripods, C-stands, lighting equipment and bags, it's all neatly packed in here and helps hide away the parts of video creation that aren't nice to have on show. The rest of Sam's camera gear like lenses, batteries, filters and the like all stay packed and ready to go in a Low Pro Pro Tactic 350 AW bag which sits at the entrance to the office. There's also some various pieces of art placed around the room and of course a big plant to add some greenery back into the space. As ever, I think it's really important to make sure you don't fall into the sterile look a lot of home office spaces have, so placing art on the walls and larger plants in a space really help it come together. Sam has also painted the back wall a dusty pink, which really gives the room a sense of completion. Looking back towards the entrance of the office, there's another piece of IKEA furniture. This is a small 4x4 Calyx unit, which houses a few older cameras, some photo books, and other various filming bits. Hanging above that is a Tony Hawk sign print, and more importantly, a mini basketball hoop, of which Sam is an absolute pro at. Otherwise, that pretty much rounds off Sam's entire desk setup and home office space. While it's not the most overpowered desktop out there, there's beauty in the simplicity of extending a 13-inch MacBook Pro into a plug-and-play, grab-and-go style setup. This has been working really well for Sam over the past few years, and it's not showing any signs of change soon. Overall, I'm a big fan of the office space here. The pink back wall combined with the modern and somewhat minimal design of the space works well, and it comes together into a space that feels welcoming and thought out. I've spoken before about this a lot of times, but I think it's really important to create a space you're happy to work in. There's huge benefits to feeling comfortable and happy while working, and I genuinely think your output will be better for it. If you want to check out Sam's work, then I'll leave a link to his website, YouTube channel, and podcast in the description below. And if you've got any burning questions about the FX3, you can always find him on Twitter at sam.mov. I hope you enjoyed this look into another person's creative space. I've got loads more desk setup videos in the works, so be sure to subscribe for that, and I will see you all in the next one.